Welcome to the C-Sharp tutorial on how to make a stoplight animation in Visual Studio. Okay, so we start by opening Visual Studio. We go to File, New, a new project. We're going to select Windows Forms Application from C-Sharp. We're going to rename our project to Stoplight. And we press OK. Now we let Visual Studio create our project. In this folder right here, I have the 4.png images which I will be using to make the animation in this video. Okay, C Sharp has already created, I'm sorry, Visual Studio has already created our project and we're going to select a picture box to place our images in. So we place the picture box and we go to choose image. We select import and we navigate to the folder in which we have our images. In this case, I'm going to choose red stoplight.png and open it. I'm going to resize it a bit. Okay. I repeat, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to find the name and I'm going to rename it to red stoplight so that I can identify it better in the code. Okay. So now we select another picture box. We do the same steps. I'm going to select choose image and import. I'm going to select the yellow stoplight that PNG this time. We open it, we press OK. Here it is. We're going to go to its properties and rename it to yellow stoplight. Okay, we do that process once more for the green stoplight. We place our picture box and resize it a bit. I'm going to choose image, press import, and select the green stoplight.png. Press OK, and we have that. I'm going to rename it the green stoplight. OK. Now, this animation is going to work with timers. Timers are very important in C-sharp and they allow us to do a lot of things. We can go to this property and we're going to see that enabled property is false. And I'm going to tell you why later. So we go to the interval and we set it to 5000. The interval is measured in milliseconds. So 5,000 milliseconds means that we are selecting 5 seconds for each interval. Now we're going to start the animation by pressing start button and stop it by pressing a stop button which we are creating right now. So we place our two buttons. We're going to rename it to button start. I'm going to rename the other button to button stop. I'm also going to change the text which it displays and put it to stop and the other button to start. Okay, so now I can double click on the button so that it creates the unclick method. Now this private void button start underscore click method is going to be called every time, every time the button is clicked. And what this method does is it enables the timer which allows our animation to start. Okay, now we double click on the timer and it creates the timer1 underscore tick method which is going to be called every five seconds 
if you remember we put a five second interval in the timer property now we're gonna make manipulate the visible property of each PNG and we're gonna start with the red stoplight being visible and actually in this case uh, this code needs to go in the public form 1 method because we want the program to start that way with the red stoplight being visible okay delete this and we're gonna manipulate our code um, or stoplights I'm sorry with a bunch of ifs if the red stoplight that visible equals true then we want to set it to be invisible which means that the dot visible property is going to be equal to false we're gonna set the yellow stoplight that visible property to true and the green stoplight that visible property to false actually the yellow stoplight is gonna be equal to false and the green stoplight is gonna be equal to true because after the red stoplight comes the green stoplight so now we create another else if, else if sorry if the green stoplight that visible equals true then the red stoplight that visible is going to be equals to false the yellow stoplight that visible is going to be equals to true because after the green stoplight comes the yellow stoplight and the green stoplight that visible property is going to be equals to false another else if the yellow stoplight that visible is equals to true then the red stoplight that visible is going to be equals to true after the yellow stoplight comes the red stoplight the yellow that stop the yellow stoplight that visible property is going to be equals to false as well as the green stuff like that visible property is going to be equals to false okay that's it we can now test our code to see if the if the animation is working but first we're gonna program our stop button which means that every time we press it the timer is going to be disabled and the animation will stop okay if the red stop light that visible equals true that means that we're gonna change to the green stop light now if the green stop light is equals to true we're gonna change to the yellow stop light and if the yellow stop light that visible equals true we're gonna change to the red stop light that means like I told you remember the interval is gonna be 5000 milliseconds which means every five seconds it will be changing from state of the stoplight so we can test our code now just to see uh, okay there we go I'm gonna start the animation okay changes to green now yellow back to red that means our animation is working we're gonna stop it and we're gonna fix the interface which is a bit yeah just gonna make visual studio out to size each picture okay it's a bit better okay we got it now there we go 
and now we're gonna select another picture box on which we're gonna put the card that PNG image we go to import once again we select the card that PNG open and we press OK this time we're gonna make Visual Studio out to size it there it is we place it where we want it to start and we're gonna use another timer to manipulate the car's movement we're gonna set the enable property to false and the interval to half a second so every half a second that method is going to be called there it is the timer two underscore tick method we're going to we're going to rename our picture box to car here we can see that there we have the car variable and now if the red stoplight uh no no if the yellow stoplight the visible property is equals to true then we're going to move the car slowly by using the dot left property which is going to be equals to car dot left plus equals the tree it's going to move three positions no i'm sorry about five it's going to move five positions and if the green stoplight that visible is equals to true then we're gonna use the same code from the other if block but this time it's gonna move 10 positions card that left equals card that left plus equals to 10 okay now we gotta modify the timer to that enable property in the start button method and also in the stop button method we're gonna set it to false here here it is we can test our code now let's start the animation uh, there it is the car is moving now that the yellow light is on it moves a bit slower the red light is on the car stop the green light is on the car is moving now the yellow light is on the car slow down a bit and the red stop light which means stop okay guys that's the end of our video Please like the video if it was useful to you.